awesome guys so I thought I'd show you guys some dupes that I have and some high end stuff that I have um I was trying to do voice recordings but for some reason it wouldn't do it so I don't know um so the first dupe that you guys have probably seen are these two palettes right here. This one is the work color workshop dupe for the naked urban decay naked original palette. This one is the Make for Revolution Death by Chocolate palette. And this is the dupe for the original two piece chocolate palette. And this one is a new pretty naked two ooh, or the naked three palette. But I have all three dupe palettes for the high end versions. Um so this is for the naked two. And this one is also for the Naked 3. This is the CoverGirl Ro True Naked Roses palette. Mini size. You guys, I know I love minis. Um, <laughs> um, this is a Lit Rock palette from Rock. This is like the Romantic Eyes collection. This palette actually retails itself for $21. But if you are smart, you can get them in the kit. And yes, they carry the rock palette, but Ulta, which is right now. Pick this up. up. This is, pick that one up. At, um, this is a highlighter duo from the brand Amuse Bouche. You got a highlight and a blush in here. What did I say Amuse Bouche for? I said, um, <laughs> sorry guys. Um, this is the dupe for the... I guess if you want to call this dupe, but this is from the Muse Beauty. I think this is a good dupe for, um, I don't know what you would really call this, but it is a dupe or something. I just can't think of the or high-end version of this. Um, so it's like a little quad thing. Um... And then I call this my Jacqueline Hill palette dupe. This is the Nikki K, Nikki K New York Perfect 32 color palette. This has blushes and eyeshadow, but it's the same. I know this is. A, I don't know if the Jacqueline Hill palette has greens in here but this one has greens and if you guys want to order it then I'll leave it in the description box um but the order number is APO29 so if you guys want to order the exact one I have they have that one um in terms of formula these are these color workshop palettes are dry. I tried using them yesterday. I was gonna put up the video, but I decided not to. I deleted it. So I deleted it off my phone before I even got a chance to put it because it was all over the place. So. I don't know what to say about this formula. This formula is weird. I mean, these palettes have these little tiny br brushes in them. You can't, you can hardly open them. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, I'm not even gonna open. These colors are, the colors are pretty, but they're just hard to work with. Let me know if you guys have these in any of the comments. You can get them at Walmart for like five dollars. But I have another one that. 
cream all the way just completely. I need to get into the container for my makeup in place because this one is packing. So that's what I'm going to focus on doing some. Okay, I kept this one in its packaging because they have a story card and everything. This is the Tartlet Toasted Palette from Tarte Cosmetics. This is the only palette I found that I wanted to pick up. They had the Tartlet in Bloom, but I didn't want that one. I know I would have gotten it for the packaging itself because it's pink and purple, and that combination to me is just so pretty. So I just kept it in its packaging. This is going to slide out real quick. Each of the palettes comes with a protective, um, casing and a thing to protect the shadows in. So I have a tutorial card and the shadow protector sheet in here. I just keep that all in there so I know that it's protected. Um here's I was doing some digging see that a lot of the stuff people think that Sephora stuff is uh, very high end but it's actually really not like all these brands have affordable products in anybody's price range of course this is very high end and expensive but I splurged on a gift card to get this because I tried it out in the store and I love the shade flame it's already gone I wish that um, Tarte would come out with a single shadow named Flame because I would definitely pick it up because I like the duo from in it. Um, there's lots of different things that you can do with this. Um, why do I keep saying them? Oh, I don't know how my retainer is. I'm sorry. Yeah. I feel like when you have retainers and it makes you, it makes it hard for you to talk. It makes you create like a lisp. Even though that you don't have a lisp, it creates a lisp. So. It makes it feel like you have something in your mouth and you can't get it out. It makes you talk kind of funny. So, yeah, like, they think that a lot of these makeup stores have nothing, like, to offer in their price range. So they have pretty affordable stuff if you just look. I mean, I'll be doing a video on those soon. But if you have a gift card, I suggest you splurge on a couple of these high end items because they're really expensive. And if I didn't have a gift card, I wouldn't buy this. So, um, oh. Speaking of palettes that are like handheld size, um, have you guys seen the two piece packaging for the natural, the natural? collection the revamped version it's like these palettes are like huge here's the like the size of this is like not that big but the base palette is like this the eyes of the palette's like that size and the base palette itself is huge like this size it's gonna be big but i'm i'm interested in getting some of this stuff in the line i don't know if i should get what's or sure what's not i don't know but there's everything in everybody's price range you just have to be smart and look for it um i like this palette i like okay what's that like 
a lot of brands that come out with these types of palettes. Like if Natasha Nona had these, her palettes these sides instead of the larger ones, I would pick some of them up. But they're too, they're they're like a hundred and twenty nine dollars for one eyeshadow palette. I know it's gonna since they actually have a mini palette now. That's twenty five dollars, which is pretty amazing considering that her prices are like way too much money um to be spending on an eyeshadow but her eyeshadow palettes are like this size guys pretty decent amount of product if you don't mind uh, this but it has these but it's the most sizes but i think i might try the also ones but there are many sizes i'm so I, I'm pretty surprised that she's going to many affordable palettes for people that want to try it out. But they're like six shades. So six shades for the amount of product. It's like 1.5 grams, I think, or less than a target shadow. Or the same size. So, um, I don't know. But, um, moving on to that, um, these, it doesn't, I'll do a video on, um, like, high-end things that are in, um, probably everyone's price range, um, if you just know what to look. But they said that this, it's coming up soon. It's coming up. It's coming up. It'll probably be up tomorrow. Um, if you haven't seen my recent Tuesday video, I well the one that I did last week, the one that I did like I I don't think I did it Tuesday. I think I did it Thursday. Last week Thursday. I I I, don't, I like this format of how I'm having things going. So I think on Tuesdays and Thursdays and Wednesdays. If not, you'll probably see me do another um another haul or something. Oh. Guys, I've been trying out two new things and I get eight readers to see that video. Um, it's probably gonna be like a yearly favorites though. I'm probably gonna do like a yearly favorites video. These shadows, <sighs> oh, these are so pretty. <laughs> look at these, look at, th look at these. They're so pretty. Okay, now each of the, each of the, um, each of the CoverGirl palettes have the names on the back. This, the order number for this one, if you want to order it, is in the shade 812. No, 8, 815, sorry. So this is their True Naked palette. The True Naked Roses palette. They're a version of it. It's so pretty. Um, this is the dupe for the Naked palette. This is their version of their, their Naked palette. A lot of brands come out with different products. But they have their own version of the Naked palette. From MDK. Now, these are... Very pretty affordable considering the naked palettes are like twenty no no. The mini palettes are like twenty nine dollars for the naked for Urban K from Urban K. Then but these are like ten dollars. So very affordable. I like the shadows so much. I like them so much. Now, they have, they just came out with their Naked Heat Petite palette. That's $29, but it's a mini size of the big version. So if you don't, if you don't have, if you don't want the big version, you can get the small version. They just released it, and it's in stores right now, so. I'm just going to show you guys finger swatches. 
You can work with these wet or dry. This is one of them. And this is another one. So these are the two highlight tapes. I'm just going to show them on the back of my hand. Can you guys see that? I'm trying to position my hand right. Oh, okay. That's that one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I have to do it like this. Okay. Do they do it like this, guys? On YouTube? I don't know. <laughs> um, and then they have the other one. Wait, let me see. Look at that, guys. Oh, <laughs> I'm new to the swatching part of the swatching. I, I promise we'll get better. We'll get better. But they're they're pretty easy to work with, and they blend like a dream. I know everybody says they blend like a dream on YouTube, but they are so pretty. Ah, oh, they're so pretty. It's hard to do it when you have like, um, limited security, but I think I got the swatches right. They're so pretty. Um, I'm going to come back after I eat lunch and or probably just hurry up and do this, but this is, these are pretty. Look at these! I'm just gonna blend them on my hand just to show you guys the blendability of these. They're really pretty wet though. This is what them blended like. This is pretty. So, considering that bees are like, you always get brown chains or you can use a highlight with them, but I prefer not to. These are like this. I'm swatching the, the Lorac Romantic Eyes on. I'm just doing the highlight shades because I'm sure you guys are already seeing those on my skin tone of the eyeshadows. These highlight shades are the bomb. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Now, these are the highlight sheets from the Lorac palette, the Romantic Eyes collection one that I have. Okay, you guys see that, right? Right there. So pretty. And the bendability is like, like this. It's so... Simple. It gives you a nice sheen. I like swatching them on my hand and then blending them in just to show you guys the blendability of these shadows. They're so pretty. And look, you get a nice light, nice highlight. It's 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 not ghost light. I mean it's just like so pretty. Um, but it's, it's gorgeous. <laughs> um, I might just do one more. Oh. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Wait a minute. I'm just watching the highlight shades, but I think I'll come back and do the eyeshadows. She goes over to these eyeshadows. These drugstore palettes, I can tell you they are good.
The highlighting rods are really, like, this impressed me. I didn't really like this at first. I'm like, this is not going to work. When I put this on, I was like, I'm getting Jacqueline Hill glow, how, glow, glow, glow vibes. Like, that highlight... I think I may have found a dupe for the Anastasia Henry eyeliner. Because this is the same, like, it looks like you're, it's a sort, it's like a, a, what are those mysterious circles that pop up in, like, weird fields? I don't know how to explain it. Um, I'll look it up and tell you guys later. Um, but the sheen of these are amazing. It's not so much of a, of a, like, yellowy highlight. Look at this. Look at this, you guys. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. You see that? You see that? Watch. Watch. I have it right here. And I'm just gonna blend it in. And it's a nice fluffy highlight. I'm just gonna have to wash my hands before I eat lunch, man. I mean, guys. So I recommend you guys check the the Amuse Beauty. Why do I want to say? I'm thinking the my bite beauty for some reason. I don't know why. Um, Amuse Amuse Cosmetics. And try out their blush and highlight videos. You won't be disappointed. Um, they're really pretty. Oh my gosh! Ah! It gave me an idea, guys. It gave me an idea. <laughs> but I'm not telling you guys what it is. I have to just watch Thursday's video. <laughs> just. Just watch Thursday's video. That's all I'm saying. Huh? These highlighting shades are amazing. Oh my gosh. Like, dude, this texture of the highlighter is the same texture as the, um, I'm going use the highlighter. Videos. I like the texture that I have. Is he like a, a, what are those circles? Let me know what these circles are. Like, this is what it looks like. This is the shape, but I can't think of what. It's something new with science. Okay, I think I'm um, done. For now. Um. But, um, yeah, it has been a wild week. Okay, so let me tell you guys what I have on my feet right now. I have like these <laughs> blending characters on. And because of my my foot and I I I can't help it. This runs in my family. My my like bone, my toe my foot bone sticks out. But my toes go over like this because 